the Black Rock Philly Stakes will be next up. Mile and six furlongs. Uh, it's a group three for three year olds and up. Tamora finished there for David Robertson's at the top. Bridget, Greg Beckwith, October Bay, Graham Clutterbuck, Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes, Sealed His Fate, Joshua Sutherland, Mystery Killer Baltic, Leon Van Rensburg, Persuasive Rose, Craig Allen, Swartz Corner, Darren Thompson, and Temper for Graham Clutterbuck. One run, one win for that one. Number nine at the bottom. Let's see what it's made of. All in the stalls and ready to go. And away they go. The first one to make a break for the lead looks like it's going to be Mistress of the Baltic. So Mistress of the Baltic gets across to the inside to claim the lead from Sealed His Fate in second. Then Persuasive Rose is next and then Bridget after that one. Well, there's only about three lengths between the, the whole field at the moment. But now Mistress of the Baltic has started to kick on a little bit and has gone too clear. There's about six in a line for second. And the two greys at the back, Roaring Hawk and Schwartz Corner. Well, it's Mistress of the Baltic, who's three, two or three lengths clear then now of Tamora Finisterre in second, and then Persuasive Rose and Sealed his Fate with October Bay and Bridget. And then Temper is just behind them, ahead of the Greys, Roaring Hawk and Schwartz Corner. So Mistress of the Baltic then. He's bowling along in front by like two lengths to Tamora Finisterre second. And Sealed His Fate's got the rail in third. October Bay on the outside is fourth. Between them, Bridget, then Persuasive Rose, then Temper and Roaring Hawk. And Schwartz Corner, just about a length or two off the pace at the back. He's going to need to pass the entire field to take this one. But Mistress of the Baltic is still two lengths clear of October Bay. And Tamora Finisterre. And Sealed His Fate and Persuasive Rose. Seven furlongs still to go. And Mistress of the Baltic leads by two. So October Bay second. And Tamora finished there on the inside third. We've got the rail now with a good looking runner. Sealed his fate. Persuasive Rose is going to try and come around the outside. Trying to creep up the inside the grey Schwartz corner. Temper has got work to do. So too is Roaring Hawk. They've got five furlongs to go. And Mistress of the Baltic is too clear. Persuasive Rose looks to be going well in the green and the yellow. October Bay is also making a forward move. The Grey Schwartz corner is starting to get into it. Temper is starting to move on the outside as well, but they've still got to get to the leader. And that leader is Mistress of the Baltic. And she's three lengths clear of Persuasive Rose in second. October Bay is third. Schwartz corner now pulled out for a run in fourth. Then comes Tamora Finnis there and sealed his fate. They were going up and down. After that one, Bridget's got work to do trying to run on Roaring Hawk. Temper has dropped out the back. Maybe that maiden it won last week wasn't so hot. And it's Mistress of the Baltic in the lead then from Persuasive Rose in second. Then comes Tamora Finnis there in Schwartz corner. Bridget still trying to run on. They're passing the furlong pole. It's still Mistress of the Baltic from Persuasive Rose. Tamora Finnis there has got going now Bridget goes into overdrive so too does Roaring Hawk it's Persuasive Rose in the front but here comes Tamora Finisterre and Bridget Tamora Finisterre on the rail is in the lead and takes it from Bridget second Roaring Hawk third October Bay then sealed his fate and the post came up pretty quick there Ooh, Tamora Finisterre just held on from Bridget Roaring Hawk finishing well third so the leader Mistress of the Baltic really set that one up for the closers, Tamora finished there for David Robertson, the winner. Bridget for Craig Beckwith, second. Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes, third. October Bay, Graham Clutterbuck, fourth. Sealed his fate, Joshua Sutherland, fifth. And Persuasive Rose for Craig Allen was sixth. So Temper, the unbeaten horse he won a maiden last week, was actually last. So maybe that maiden wasn't quite so good. <laughs>